chips or french fries are one of the most popular food items in New Zealand. Among chip manufacturers, Fresher Foods in Auckland is the only Chinese-owned private company. Although its market share is comparatively small, it processes 22,000 tons of potatoes a year. Its owner Stephen Wong, more popularly known as Potato Wong in the Chinese community, was born in China and lived and worked in Hong Kong before moving to New Zealand. He became a kitchen hand and carpet cleaner and in 1979 opened his own takeaway. At the same time, he started his chip manufacturing company, Fresher Foods. Uh, during that time, we are working hard and giving the customer good service. We deliver seven days a week, so keeping the good relationship to the customer and they're happy to support me. And I always go around to the customer and during that time, my English not as good. <laughs> and then slowly and slowly, and uh, I'm, I'm learning the, how to do the business and also learn English from my customer. In the beginning, the chips were processed manually, but as the business grew and started competing with imported products, Fresher Foods developed a semi-automatic production line, which eventually became fully automatic. It also started producing frozen as well as fresh chips. In 1994, Stephen bought 18 acres of land in East Tamaki and built a larger factory there. Our total staff, inclusive of um, office people, management and truck drivers, would be, I think at the moment, about 35. Alternate frozen and fresh days. So today, for instance, we're running frozen. And a good run there would be end product, um, probably about 4.3, 4.4 tonnage. Yes, per hour, yeah. Uh, but that, we have a lot more potatoes go in than that. There's a yield, a loss, uh, depending on various factors. But that's also affected by the time of the year, the type of potatoes. Uh, we may get a lot with black spots. They have to be picked out by uh, automatic detection equipment and also sometimes physically by some of our pickers. Stephen used to do the deliveries himself, but now he uses a network of distributors to deliver his products throughout New Zealand. Uh, predominantly our customer base is like Asian. Um, you know, because they like to deal with their own, their own people. Yeah, it's it's a good quality product, um, and it's and it's you know it's be, the brand's been around for for a long time, um, and people like it. You know, so we it's a it's a big seller for us. A big seller for shops like South City Takeaways, which serves up three to four hundred kilos of chips every single week. We be using the fresher food chips for for a while and. Uh, we, we found it's really good, actually. And uh, it's very crunchy, very tasty, and uh, it's, it has a really nice texture, you know. And uh, I think it's more important is the customer's feedback's very positive. Fresher Foods chips are also exported to Australia and the Pacific Islands. Stephen also trialed exporting to China, but found the demand from this huge market was too big for the factory's capacity. China is a big market. Uh, uh, because I've been here 38 years now, and I want to say uh, I come from China as uh, my homeland. Uh, I still uh, like the Chinese culture, but business, and then um, I, I would say I, I prefer to in New Zealand. But this hasn't stopped Stephen from helping build trading relations between China and New Zealand. He brings New Zealand businessmen and government officials to China and introduces them to the local business people. Although Stephen loves his homeland, he considers New Zealand his real home and believes his golden business has its golden future here.